In this video, I'm going to pit Woodfather's Jig, a $9 shop built box joint jig for the table saw against the Incra Ellis Positioner, a super precise, super cool router table jig, which costs upwards of $900. Let's get it on. Hey guys, Mario here. So I've been woodworking for a long time now and I've built up a collection of what I think are pretty cool tools. Some of them are high end and quite high quality, whereas others are, well, they've got a lot of sentimental value. And that's because back when I started, I didn't have money for tools. I had a new wife, I had three babies, uh, I had a really nice, lovely mortgage that I signed up for right before the 2007 mortgage crisis really kicked in. And frankly, my job at the time barely paid enough to cover the food bills. So anything that I put into the garage workshop renovation had to be super cheap or better yet, free. I spent quite a few years struggling and making do like that before my first big tool purchase. And that was around $900 on this table saw. To pay for that, I had to work nights at my normal job and then have a cash job laboring on job sites during the day. Yeah, I was, I was always tired back then. Now the small cheapo table saw that I bought a couple of years earlier, it was just awful to use, just terrible. This big saw was a huge upgrade and I still love it to bits. Because it was the biggest and best tool that I owned, I used it for every cut and every project that I possibly could. I think pretty much every project coming out of my workshop back then used the table saw in some manner. And as I got more and more familiar and more comfortable with using it, I started making jigs to advance the type of cuts that I could make. Eventually, I even designed my own box joint jig from the ground up using a method that no one else had ever tried. I shared that on YouTube back then and I've received nothing but great feedback since. Woodworking is all about jig making and Woodfather's Jig has helped me and thousands of other woodworkers make heaps of beautiful boxes on the table saw. So anyway, life goes on and I'm very fortunate to be able to say that I no longer have to target the cheapest of the cheap tools. I worked and I saved and I scrimped for 20 years and now I'm in a much better place. Many years after buying the table saw, I came across the Incra LS Positioner. Now the Positioner is a super duper accurate fence that you use on the router table. It can help you produce some amazing joinery to a level of quality that honestly, I never ever thought would come out of my workshop. I love this tool to bits. However, I do consider the Incra to be expensive and something of a luxury. It's not something that every woodworker needs to go out and buy. In Australia, you can get variants of it starting from around 900, whereas my model is probably closer to 1300. So it's definitely a big purchase but it can do all this beautiful dovetail joinery easily and repeatedly, which I love to bits. So for me, I think it's worth it. If you boil it right down though, the Incra is just a big jig and it's just a jig that you can cut box joints on. Box joints, you know, like the ones that I cut on my table saw using Woodfather's jig. So it got me wondering, who would win in a battle of box joints? The $900 Incra on the router table or the $9 Woodfather's jig on the table saw? At the risk of embarrassing myself and my design and never selling a copy of my plans ever again, let's find out. So if we're going to have a challenge between jigs, we need to find a way of ranking them. So let's build a scorecard. Before we do that, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you think is going to win. All right, scoring. We can get the easy ones out of the way. They would be cost and speed. Then we probably want to compare the ease of setup, as in how complex is it to get everything dialed in and ready to cut. And of course the obvious one at the end, how good is the final joint? And that's a big one, because honestly, is Woodfather's jig good enough to go up against a legitimate woodworking tool? Like, does it even have any credentials? Where did this jig even come from? So to answer those questions, we need to go back in time to 2015. 2015, so that's back when Tony Abbott was Prime Minister of Australia. Uh, we had Obama over in the US. My kids were binge watching Big Hero 6. That was the latest film that they were checking out. -la -la -la. Left Shark was still a thing. And I decided that I wanted to build a box joint jig for my table saw that didn't need a dado stack. I chronicled my jig designing adventures on my blog at the time. It was 2015, so everyone had a blog still. Over the course of three weeks, the idea was incepted, developed, iterated over, and eventually released to the world. Looking over some of those blog posts now, I'm a little bit shocked at how quickly it all came together. I remember spending a lot of time in SketchUp designing and testing because it's easier and cheaper and safer to make virtual cuts and changes. But I also remember building and rebuilding the jig multiple times as well. 
So those original plans that I made and I freely shared on my website and through YouTube, they were downloaded over 20,000 times in 2015. 20,000 times. I probably should have charged for them. No, I've no regrets. It was really fulfilling to design and make the jig and then sharing it with the woodworking community back then from who I had taken so, so much from. <laughs> it just felt like the right thing to do. Over the years though, I tweaked and modified and improved the jig's design until I decided it was worth selling plans for. Now, I'm not gonna be retiring anytime soon off of the profits, but I have been fortunate enough to get a lot of support from the woodworking community. And even better, I've not had anyone ask for their money back once they've gotten the plans. I get emails all the time from people showing off their version of the jig or showing off what they made with it. Um, from time to time, people have questions on building it, so they reach out for some help and we get to work through the problem together. Sometimes other woodworkers have ideas on how to improve the jig in some manner and they want to share that idea. And it, it's, it's all been really positive is all I can say. I'm super proud of this jig and I'm really glad that it's been able to help so many woodworkers around the world. All right, look, so it's really nice to go down memory lane and think about where the jig came from, but is it good enough to take on a professional woodworking tool like the Incra? Only one way to find out. There's the bell to start the rounds and they come out swinging. Woodfather's jig throws a strong right hook right at the start. The blade's already in the table saw, so once we drop the jig in place, we're pretty much good to go. We make up our template using some blocks, then set our blade height, and that has taken up all of a minute or two. Likewise though, the Alice positioner is already set up on the router table. We'll need to decide on our template using the full scale book, then we need to find the right one, then we have to drop it in, then we have to install the relevant router bit, and then, oh, this slows you down. The incra needs to be dialed in, so I've got to make a few extra cuts here to find that center position. It isn't hard, but it does give Woodfather's Jig a chance to jump ahead. Speaking of Woodfather's Jig, we've got our blanks here, so let's clamp them up. This could be improved, to be honest. I've never really loved the clamping process that I've come up with. I've seen other people design better clamping methods for this jig though, so that's something that I definitely will review and refine shortly. Back to the Incra, and clamping is a little bit awkward here as well. There's a whole routine that you need to go through. Once you learn it, just as easy. But now to the real meat of this, making a box joint. Woodfather's jig definitely gets points for ease of use here. It's left cut, right cut, hog it out. Left cut, right cut, hog it out. But to be fair, the Incra shines here as well. Slide it over, lock it down, make a cut. Slide it over, lock it down, make a cut. So let's go back to Woodfather's jig to see how it's going and ooh, look at this. Did you notice that we cut two mating joints at once? If I wanted to make an actual box on this jig, I could cut all four sides of it at once. The Incra can't do that. We need to reset it to cut those mating joints. That will definitely cost them some points in time. So here's the fit. No tricks, no cheating. This is straight off of the jigs. To be honest, my opinion is that the Incra is too loose, but I've never been able to get it better than this. And on the other hand, Woodfather's jig is too tight. If I wanted to redo and improve it, I could tweak the fit here quite easily but I'm trying to be fair, so one shot only. And after some sanding and a little spray varnish, voila, we've got some box joints. All right, the judges are in, let's see what happens. Cost, Woodfather's jig. $9 beats $900 any day of the week. Speed, Woodfather's jig. When you cut both sides of the joint at one time, it's super fast, it's very hard to beat. Complexity, Woodfather's Jig. Put the jig on the table saw, put your piece of wood against the finger templates, flip them up and down to your liking, and you're done. Doesn't get much easier than that. Joint quality, Incra Alice Positioner. As much as I hate to say it, the router table does leave a nicer finish as compared to a table saw blade. If I wanted to spend a few minutes cleaning up Woodfather's Jig with a chisel, or if I had a flat tooth blade, um, then the cuts would come out a lot nicer. But like I said, I'm trying to make this be fair. I made one joint and that's it. So the judges have scored it and the winner is the Incra Alice Positioner. All right, look, it's a professional quality jig made from a reputable manufacturer and box joints are just a tiny part of what you can use the Incra Alice Positioner for. I can find a few more ways where I could say that my jig is better than that one, but that's really cherry picking and honestly, it's a little bit cheeky as well. I honestly think that the Alice Positioner is awesome but so is Woodfather's Jig. 
Let me ask you this though, $9 versus $900. When you put these joints side by side, does this one look a hundred times better than this one? Leave a comment, let me know. Honestly, I don't think it does. I think Woodfather's jig has fought well outside its weight class here and still managed to land a few punches of its own. To learn more about Woodfather's jig, go and check out this video over here. And there's only one thing left to say, which is, Hey yo, Adrian, I did it!